And tonight we're hearing from a local father facing child abuse charges. Police say he beat his son outside a Chuck E. Cheese restaurant in Aventura. CBS 4's Peter Dench has been following the story. And Peter, we heard from the father and also a witness who got involved, right? That's right, Elliot. In fact, that witness, a good Samaritan, told me he was deeply troubled by what he saw and took steps to stop the father from leaving here in his Maserati until police arrived. It all happened right here at 203rd Street and Biscayne Boulevard. The father admits that he may have lost his temper but says nothing like this has ever happened before. Peter Juras says he was forced to take stern measures with his three-year-old son, who has special needs, because he was acting up. The kid got a little upset. He had a little issues, and then I, I corrected him. Cell phone video from a CBS4 viewer shows Juras walking from Chuck E. Cheese to his car on Monday afternoon with his son. He's charged with battery and child abuse. Well, I have an impeccable record. This is the first time something like this happens. Juris is out on $5,000 bond. Did you lose your temper? Of course, a little bit, yes. Because we have been showing some things and we wanted to go farther with him in, in, in the games and everything, and he did something that he was not supposed to. Victor Castillo was at that Chuck E. Cheese restaurant and says Juris clearly assaulted his child while going to his car. Then as he was walking out, he started just like repeatedly beating him in the head. Well, open-handed first, you know, slapped him in the head. Once he opened the door, he, he I don't know, he put him in the, in the seat. He started just like getting like punches like in the face and in the chest. Castillo says Juris punched his son numerous times with a closed fist. Police noticed bruising on the child's face and by his eyes. Uh, this is just terrible, man. It's terrible. I don't. Um, I didn't like it one bit at all. So I mean, it's just. It was kind of heartbreaking seeing it, you know, especially with a kid who has special needs. Juris and his wife Catalina have two sons with special needs and a service dog that helps their family. They were all at Bond Court, where Catalina spoke out for her husband. And my husband is a great father, a great husband, and without his help, I I couldn't have done what we've done for them. Now, Judge Mindy Glazer in Bond Court ordered jurors to have no contact whatsoever with his son, not even come within 500 feet of him. If he does, he can be arrested. DCF, meanwhile, says it has no prior history with his family, but it has opened an investigation. We're live in Aventura, Peter Dench, CBS 4 News. Elliot? Peter, thank you.